cats and kittens welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here hello my name is gabby and welcome you are so greedy but before we get into the case video i just wanted to show you guys my cat this is a very rare miniature caramel panther yes she is very rare there's only one like her in the world I gotta say, I really hate filming here. It's really weird standing for a video, so I'm gonna go over there to my usual filming setup, and um, yeah, let's get right into this video. You are a little purr monster. Carol Baskin. If you have no idea who I'm talking about, you're either really, 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 really good at not giving into peer pressure because this documentary was everywhere online, or you were too short to get on the ride that is the roller coaster of <laughs> that is Tiger King. Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness. The documentary was released on Netflix in March, and obviously during March, the world was pretty much advised to stay the hell inside. Boredom hits, and weirdly, instead of drawing or writing or reading, we all decide to indulge in a docu-series about crooked big cat owners. It mostly revolves around a man named Joe Exotic, but it also has some other interesting characters. And one of those characters is a woman named Carol Baskin, who many think may have killed her husband, Jack Donald Don Lewis. Not only killed him though, but fed him to their tigers. When it comes to Don Lewis, he actually left his first wife and children to marry Carol. Yo, hey, you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol. Cool cats and kittens. It's Carol. Carol took over the Big Cat Sanctuary she owned with her late husband. It is called Big Cat Rescue and is located in Tampa, Florida. Carol and Don happily ran this cat sanctuary until he randomly vanished off the face of the earth on August 18th, 1997. Don Lewis was a self-made millionaire described as being a little odd. He was said to be worth roughly five to six million dollars, but was said to occasionally search for food in trash bins. He never earned a college degree, but could outsmart most anyone. You're probably wondering if Carol filed a missing person's report, and she actually surprisingly did. Police questioned her, and she said that her husband was planning on transporting cars to Costa Rica. This wasn't a new area to them. Don owned about 200 acres of land down there, and he actually wanted to move there with Carol, but she had no desire to. Two days after his disappearance on August 20th, his van was found at Pilot Country Airport, a private airport about 35 miles away from their sanctuary, and his car keys were still in the van. After his disappearance, his family, including his daughters and also his ex-wife, said they think Carol had something to do with it. Carol, though, stuck by her innocence, saying she was not responsible. Suspicious, though, that she refused to take a polygraph test. Of course, polygraph tests are not always a legitimate way of seeing if someone is telling the truth or not, but if you were really not involved, why not just go ahead and get it out of the way? Records show that about two months before Dawn went missing, he went to authorities and he wanted protection against Carol because he said that Carol had threatened to take his life. But his file for protection was denied. Not only that, but the people that knew Don the most said that before he went missing, he was talking about divorcing Carol. But according to Carol, she said that he said that all the time and he wasn't really serious about it. In the year 2003, Don Lewis was officially declared deceased, even though they never found a body. Don's former attorney said he thinks that Don possibly went to the airport to check out a plane and was thrown from one. If that's the case, what plane was it? Was there one missing from the airport? Was there a crash? Did they find pieces of the plane washed up somewhere? Why was there never a body found? Now, if he was going to go to Costa Rica, wouldn't you think that somebody in Costa Rica would say that they had seen Don down there? Well, according to Carol, somebody did see Don. Yeah, somebody totally saw Don down in Costa Rica after he disappeared, like totally. Like somebody saw him just like walking around, getting groceries, like they saw Don. 
according to Carol. Yo, hey, you cool cats and kittens. Yo, hey, you cool cats and kittens. After this documentary came out though, people were losing their minds about this entire case having to do with Don Lewis and his disappearance and the theory that Carol fed his ground up body meat to their big cats. And Carol had something to say about it on her blog. When the directors of the Netflix documentary Tiger King came to us five years ago, they said they wanted to make the big cat version of Blackfish, the documentary that exposed abuse at SeaWorld. That would expose the misery caused by the rampant breeding of big cat cubs for cub petting exploitation and the awful life the cats lead in roadside zoos and backyards if they survive. There are not words for how disappointing it is to see that the series not only does not do any of that, but has had the sole goal of being as salacious and sensational as possible to draw viewers. As a part of that, it has a segment devoted to suggesting with lies and innuendos from people who are not credible that I had a role in the disappearance of my husband, Don, in 1997. The series presents this without any regard for the truth or in most cases even giving me an opportunity before publication to rebut the absurd claims. They did not care about truth. The unsavory lies are better for getting views. There is no short, simple way to refute so many lies. If you do want to know the truth, it requires understanding the history of events in the years before my husband's disappearance and the roles and behaviors of the people interviewed in the series, which I have tried to do as concisely as I can below, but still requires a few pages. If you want to read the rest of her blog, I will link it down below. I don't know if you want to or not, but I'll link it nonetheless. Probably at the same time you were watching Tiger King, so was Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister. Chad has served the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for the past 28 years, and he wants answers. If you're wondering, Tampa is in Hillsborough County. On March 30th, he made a tweet regarding Dawn's disappearance and is asking for anyone to call in who may have information. According to him, they're receiving on average six new leads a day from people who saw the post and want to help. He says though that they have not received any valuable tips yet. Now, not only does Joe Exotic and pretty much half the nation right now think that Carol may have been responsible for killing her husband and then feeding him to their tigers, um, also his family thinks that this could be possible. I'm gonna read an article right now where his daughter had something to say about it. Don Lewis's daughter thought the police had made a crucial error. We were upset that the cops didn't test the DNA on the meat grinder. Perhaps an explanation is in order. On August 18th, 1997, Don Lewis, a self-made millionaire, went missing. Police soon found his van at an airport near his Tampa home. After that, nothing. Lewis, 60, and his second wife, Carol, then 36, had transformed 40 acres of Tampa real estate into a refuge for 200 leopards cougars, and other big cats. In her remark about the meat grinder, Donna Pettis, one of Lewis's daughters from his first marriage, was suggesting, not subtly, that perhaps Carol very much knew what had happened to her husband. And the cats did too. Nonsense, said Carol. My tigers eat meat. They don't eat people. No trace of Don Lewis was ever found, leaving Carol and his children to battle over control of his five million dollar estate. The main part of this video though that I wanted to get to and the main reason that I made this video because I wasn't aware of this information but after Dawn went missing Carol found a new lover. I'm gonna keep this lover's name out of this video as respect to that person because there's not a whole lot of information about this person online so I think he just wants to kind of lay low, but it's pretty easy to find nonetheless. This person though, and Carol, had a little bit of a thing. And in 2002, this person did what Don tried to do. He filed an order of protection against Carol. The paperwork for this order of protection can actually be found online. I'm not going to insert it in this video just to like 
stay safe and not get sued by anybody, but it is online. And in this order of protection, he said that he feared for his life. He said that Carol was very threatening towards him, he feared for his safety, and that one time he actually asked her, what happened to your husband? And she said, dead bodies cannot talk. Now, I cannot say if that is 100% true and that actually happened, but that's what he put in the order of protection. He said that about three or four days before he filed this order of protection, that human bones had been found near a Lazy Days RV center, and that Carol said she hopes it's not on her property or she will be in deep I don't know about you guys, but I found that information very interesting and it's the end of the video and you guys are probably going to ask me my opinion on this entire thing and I'm not going to say she's guilty because I don't want to say that and I don't want to get sued. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to agree with it. But you have to admit, whether you think she did it or not, that she would have been the main suspect in this disappearance case. If you ask me, I think the main reason that she was not a main suspect and she was not looked at and seriously questioned about this case by authorities is because at the time of her husband's disappearance, her brother was in law enforcement. Mic drop. Also a quick thing that I have to mention is that I noticed this as I was watching the docuseries and afterwards everybody brought this up but she was just like weirdly laughing at everything she said am i the only one like it was it made me uncomfortable it was unsettling also some people out there think that don possibly just left his life behind and started anew somewhere think about it this was a man with nearly five to six million dollars some say more some say less whatever it doesn't really matter he had millions this was a man who loved his money he loved being wealthy. There's nothing wrong with that. He loved it. Why would he have just left his wealth behind to go to Carol or whoever? It doesn't make much sense. All in all though, let's get to the main point of the video. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Jack Don Lewis, you are urged to contact the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office at 813-247-8200. Remember that you can stay anonymous. So as we end this video, I gotta say, this video was not planned, but I found a little bit of information online, mostly Reddit, that was quite interesting and I wanted to share. And of course, on my channel, I mostly focus on cases that are 20 years or older, and this case happened in 1997, so it's very appropriate. I wanna know your thoughts down below about this case. And did you watch Tiger King? Probably, I'm gonna say most of you have. Let me know your thoughts down below about everything in this video and let me know your favorite meme that has to do with this series because I'm just dying at the memes, honestly. And I will see you guys in my next video where I promise I'll be a little bit more serious. Okay, bye guys. Also, before I ended this video, I just wanted to say don't go sending Carol any hate. That's not what this video is about. Just let police handle the case and figure out what they're going to figure out. Have you ever tried filming with an animal? It is so hard.